might be chemistry. Show me. So here is table 11 from the IB data booklet, copyright IB, and here's a fun fact about ozone. Uh, ozone absorbs light of energy 363 kilojoules per mole. So which bond is that closest to? The one between hydrogen and sulfur. Now hydrogen sulfide is the eggy smell in farts, and ozone isn't the fart zone. Ozone's composed entirely of oxygen. There is no hydrogen, there is no sulfur. So is it an oxygen-oxygen single bond? Nope. That's 144 kilojoules per mole. So that can't be true of the bonding in ozone. Well, oxygen can also form double bonds. And the oxygen-oxygen double bond you can see there is 498 kilojoules per mole. So that doesn't correspond to the bonding in ozone either. And there is no such thing as an oxygen-oxygen triple bond or quadruple bond. So what's going on? Well. Ozone goes between two structures, the one on the left and the one on the right. Essentially, the double bond is moving, as well as the single bond. And those are called resonant structures. So what does ozone look like? It's actually an intermediate between both of those structures. So it isn't a single bond. It isn't a double bond. It's actually a one and a half bond. And once again, those are called resonant structures. So it's the pi orbitals, and therefore the pi bonds, that are responsible for this phenomena. The electrons in the lobes are going to be spread out along those three oxygen pi orbitals. And that gives this resonance phenomena. It actually gives the molecule lower energy. And nature wants to move towards lower energy. So let's have a look at some calculations. Now the fun fact at the beginning was that the bond is uh, 363 kilojoules per mole of ozone bonds broken. I'm going to multiply by 1000 to get joules per mole, and then I'm going to divide by Avogadro's constant. And that's going to give me the value in joules of one of these oxygen-oxygen bonds in ozone. And that's also going to give me the energy of the photon that will break this oxygen-oxygen bond in ozone. So using these equations from the data booklet, h is Planck's constant, that's from the data booklet, as is c, the speed of light, you can work out the wavelength of the light needed to break that bond, 3.30 times 10 to the minus 7 meters, which is 330 nanometers. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,